Just last month, I had the distinct pleasure of welcoming UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon to Canada. We met with some of my most senior ministers, as well as in private, to discuss issues of pressing importance to both the UN and to Canada. We talked about the importance of the Paris Agreement in combating climate change and creating a clean economy alongside our international partners. We discussed Canada's new, refocused approach for Iraq, Syria, and the broader region. Mr. Ban expressed his appreciation for the example Canada has set in resettling Syrian refugees and confronting the global migration and refugee crisis. We also touched on a subject that's very important to me, gender equality and the empowerment of women and girls around the world and the essential leadership men also have to play on that front. In addition, I reiterated Canada's commitment to ensuring a successful World Humanitarian Summit in May. My wife Sophie and I were honoured to host a dinner for the UN Secretary General at the end of his visit to Ottawa. There, I stated that Canada was looking forward to a renewed role at the United Nations in the years ahead. So today, I'm in New York to formally announce our intention to return to the UN Security Council table. Canada will actively pursue a seat on the United Nations Security Council for the 2021-2022 term. Aujourd'hui, je suis à New York pour annoncer officiellement notre intention de reprendre notre place au Conseil de sécurité de l'ONU. Le Canada travaillera activement à obtenir un siège au Conseil de sécurité des Nations Unies pour la période 2021-2022. Now, it's one thing to say that we want to sit on the Security Council. Let me tell you why we want to be there. In recent months, Canada has demonstrated leadership on a number of important UN priorities. We've led on climate change. We've led on support for refugees. And we've led on our important role in the Middle East, including the promotion of security and stability, increasing humanitarian assistance, and support for building longer-term resilience. We have made it clear, both in domestic policy and in international fora, that respect for diversity, commitment to inclusion, and steadfast support for human rights are central to how we define ourselves as a country. These core values not only lend to greater equality among citizens, but also play a pivotal role in ensuring peace and security within and between nations. We are determined to revitalize Canada's historic role as a key contributor to United Nations peacekeeping, in addition to advancing uh, current reform efforts. And Canada will increase its engagement with peace operations, not just by making available our military, police, and specialized expertise, but also by supporting the civilian, the civilian institutions and civil society that help prevent conflict, bring stability to fragile states, and help societies recover in the aftermath of crises. Protecting vulnerable populations, leading on the world stage, and engaging, <clears throat> and engaging on some of this era's greatest challenges, this is the Canada of today. This is how we build the world of tomorrow. Le Canada est membre des Nations Unies depuis sa création en 1945. Nous avons défendu les valeurs canadiennes fondamentales comme le pluralisme, l'égalité des sexes et la promotion de la paix. Aujourd'hui, Nous exprimons haut et fort notre appui pour le travail de l'ONU en lien avec la prévention des conflits et le désarmement, le respect des droits humains 
et la santé des mères, des nouveau nés et des enfants. Nous menons des initiatives dans plusieurs domaines, notamment pour mettre fin au mariage précoce et forcé d'enfants. Le Canada est aussi hôte d'organisations de l'ONU, comme l'Organisation de l'aviation civile internationale, l'OACI, l'Institut de statistique de l'UNESCO et le secrétariat de la Convention sur la diversité biologique. Pas plus tard qu'hier, la ministre Haidou a annoncé que le Canada souhaitait être élu à la Commission de la condition de la femme de 2017 à 2021. C'est une opportunité... C'est une opportunité additionnelle pour le Canada de s'engager de façon multilatérale à soutenir les efforts visant à améliorer la situation des femmes à travers le monde. In an effort to revitalize our ongoing commitment to the UN, the Government of Canada has engaged with many key leaders of the United Nations over the past few months. This includes the Under Secretary General for Humanitarian Affairs, the Administrator of the UN Development Program and Chair of the UN Development Group, and the UN High Commissioner for Human Rights, among others. Next week, we look forward to a visit from the UN High Commissioner for Refugees. Canada is ready once again to take a seat at the UN Security Council. Our last term concluded a decade and a half ago, in 2000. With a renewed commitment to international peace and security, now is the time for our return. Since 1945, since 1945, Canadians have accomplished extraordinary things in support of the UN's mission to promote human rights, development, and peace and security around the world. We are determined to help the UN make even greater strides in support of its goals for all humanity. My friends, it's time. It's time for Canada to step up once again.